round two or episode two play editing same as uh, the previous video I will pick one random image as a key image and pair it with four other images from this box of postcards by Magnum okay let's go Perhaps uh, this time around I will try and pick a black and white image as the key image. The last one I picked was a co uh, color image, so let's gun for a black and white image this time. So I'm just going to shuffle them and uh, randomly pick one. Let's see if the first one is a black and white one. Nope. Nope. Okay. Pick this. This is by Mark Ribu. China, Great Wall. Okay, so that's my key image. Let's go. Put it here so you can see. <clears throat> Some potential here. Yeah, let's flip this around so I can see first. Yep. So like I said the last time, I'm just looking for cues that will allow me to sort of uh, navigate between the images from one to the other okay this one has a very sort of um, strong vertical line because of the um, strong vertical line be that cuts the frame into two so I have to sort of contest with that when I pick uh, images but let's see if I can navigate work off these ones huh? so basically this one for this set of images I I've looked at it uh, purely at the shape the the, the um, you know the strong vertical line that cuts uh, very directionally in the middle, you know, in a perspective. Uh, so I'm going to use that as a as my first sort of cue. <clears throat> okay, I think uh, I've got my sequence of five. Bear in mind, I'm trying to rush through it so I don't cross the, I don't take too long uh, with the video. Uh, so here, here's my uh, five picture edit. Uh, let me show you. So this is the first one. I start off with this image that leads me to the um, key image that I randomly picked. You notice how this part here it seems to join so it almost feels like it's one image yeah so I like how that that image kind of plays with that and this figure sort of you know seems to uh, correspond with that figure but basically I like the line that sort of uh, cuts across like that you know almost it's almost almost perfect yeah so that's one two then I cut to this. Again, the 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 gun is kind of uh, pointing in in that sort of direction as well. So the the line is uh, uh, um, you know the still appear on lines, and over here the you know the density of the black at the bottom here seems to you know flow into the image this side. 
Can you see that? Yeah. So if I just hold three of them, you know, so that's my one, two, and three. And then I break it up with this. I like the lines. Once again, I'm playing on the lines. This one is, uh, it's almost a, a reverse of that. The lines coming this way, this one, the lines going that way, you know, so I'm kind of like playing on, on the lines there, but not directly following each other, but with this gun in the break, just to uh, add a bit of visual variation before we cue in that uh, that uh, geometrical uh, reference yeah so that's two three four and then this <clears throat> which allows me to kind of uh, my final image which allows me to kind of break out of that uh, vertical construct but plays up on these sort of uh, highlighted streams the lines but it's this way Yeah, so I'll just show them once again. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll do a, <coughs> a pan right at the end of uh, this sequence that I have. So what I'm gonna do now, I will uh, do another edit based on, once again, uh, this randomly selected uh, key image. So this. While I was flipping through, I found um, Two images which I really liked. These two, which I think kind of uh, seems to talk to each other. So I'm gonna feel like maybe it could work because this is so centered. Maybe we could work going outwards. Um, let's see if it's if it's possible. Okay, so I'll, I've actually got. Uh, one, two, two potentials here that uh, I'll just show you. Yeah, so let, let me show you the first one. Okay, okay, the first one. So the first one, um I kind of uh, started out from the center, you know, again, looking at this um, uh, strong sort of uh, line in the middle, uh, almost uh, parting two ways. So I, I, I thought start in the middle and then go this way and then go that way. So I, while I was looking for the previous edit, I saw these two images that sort of parted ways as well, left and right. So I thought, okay, why don't I just try, um, you know, just just to uh, see see what works and see whether it works and how it looks. Um, this in the middle, and this too, on the left and the right. Yeah, and then from there, there's this. Sorry. Okay. So this two, this, this, playing off the lines. You see the chair, you know, it goes with the window, 
uh, the line here almost goes, uh, it's almost like uh, the, the, uh, reflected in the curves of the dancers' bodies, the ballet dancers. And then it goes to this, which then goes to the horses, because the horses I felt uh, spoke to this image. You know, but kind of like angling the other way. And then that sort of leads to this image. So again, we can see starting from the center, and then it goes this way and this side goes that way. So this is one that I uh, thought, okay, might, might work. You know, there's, there's some interesting, interesting sort of dynamics in, uh, in this sequence. Uh, but I couldn't make up my mind. And then I kind of like queued up on something else, which I'll show you now. So today, episode two, you get three edits based on one key, one key image randomly selected. So that was number two. Uh, so what I'm going to show you now is the uh, final one that I had. Um, so this one is uh, a bit different. So basically this one, I'm just picking up on um, this uh, character here and how his head is sort of gestured downwards. So I'm just picking up purely on that gesture of, of this, this uh, let's call him our protagonist, him, our protagonist, sort of um, gesture, gestured uh, with his head, sort of tilted downwards. So that's my cue. That's my only cue. So basically, I'm, I'm feeding off uh, images that have uh, subjects in them that, are, that have a same posture gesture of the head tilting downwards. Or... or tilting the opposite way, like the guy on the, bar, the, the barber, on the barber's chair, getting, his, getting a shave. Yep. And on this side, the guy head tilted downwards, eating bowl, eating a bowl of uh, noodles or rice or whatever it is. And then this this guy here, the head is sort of tilted downwards. So, you can see the gesturing, it's all about the, um, the head gesture. We start again. Start from this side. The head sort of tilted downwards at a, at a tilt, at a bend. His head tilted downwards. This guy, head tilted downwards, looking. I'm, I'm assuming it's a waist level uh, finder camera. Uh, the print is not that big, so I can't really see very clearly. And then tilted downwards, lighting a cigarette. And one image where the guy's head is tilted upwards just to, you know, break the rhythm a bit and throw in a bit of a, you know, um, spin ball. Okay, so there you go. One key image, three different sequences, uh, edited, uh, looking at it visually in very different ways uh, and suggestive of very different sort of uh, implied uh, narrative. So hope uh, this was uh, good, interesting. Let me know if it is and I'll continue uh, shooting a few more. Thanks, guys.